Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today is August 2nd, 2020. Howard. What? You're blowing raspberries? Watch that. Oh, hang on. Wow. Good job. In this second attempt. Work second. out. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. Short every night. I just had a good ride. All right, let's start. You're that, that, that's, how, that's how trading works, you know. Fifty percent of the time, you can you can make it. So I should be able to do more. Um, good week for my Apple, huh? Not only Apple, but anything digital, basically. Uh, he has done really well this earning season. So basically, the market this earning season is confirming what the market has, has been discounting for the past few months, and some can say even for the past uh, few years. Mm -hmm. The digital economy is just becoming more prevalent, and a lot of the earnings that are for taking around the world, they're, they're just going, they're just rotating into the balance sheets of tech companies. Yeah. I, I, I call them rare assets, as you know. They can't be stopped. Um, it, it's so fun to make fun of the fact that the, what, they're almost 30% after Apple's move. I think Monday, Friday's game was bigger than like 490 companies. Just the gain on, on Friday, 170 billion. So um, it, it's a pretty easy setup now. That's what I'm going to tell people. As I said, I was I was... Like you, you've been bullish. I've been cautious, you know, as an old man, cautious, cautiously optimistic. You know where to put your stops now. You can either put them in below 400 or you can put them in below, I don't know, 380. But you gotta, you've got to be long NASDAQ with those stops in place. And, you know, Apple is getting the multiple. I think sales growth was like 1%. So, no, 11%. What's that? Well, yeah. that includes services, but iPhone unit sales like up a, a percent. So the market now is just saying they're a services company, uh, almost like a SaaS company. Government can't stop them. So I think that's the most important stock in the market again. Um, and on the other side, Google's probably the weakest fang. So money's coming out of Google. Um, I'm probably going to reallocate too. I mean, I love Google, but uh, it's dead money. Um, and what else do you see, Ivan? So those are, those are the those are the fingers. Facebook broke out too. Yeah, Facebook had a big report, which just uh, came to prove that they don't need the Procter and Gamble of the world because the direct to consumer brands. Again, another. If you want to be bearish. You know, below 220, just hide out. But you've got to lean against these uh, these numbers here. Uh, I know the hedge funds well. Unless there's, and listen, you got 10% downside. Um, but you got to trade against these breakouts uh, with with the rest of the Nasdaq. My my favorite one is Elastic. Kind of closed. Pure software. It's just kind of basing in here. I, I expect if they don't blow it, some kind of explosive move. Um, what else do I like? Twilio, obviously, reports this week. Um, I'm not buying it here, but oh my goodness. I don't know. I, I don't have anything. I mean, everything's like run away. Give us, take it over. Take it over. Give me some ideas. Okay. Um, I mean, so obviously one of the strong trends recently has been uh, the kind of resurrection of the 5G stocks. Oh. Uh, quite a few uh, strong breakouts in the space. Oh, cool. Uh, nice. And I mean, the earnings are, are still not even that impressive, but the market is forward looking. So it's already starting to kind of discount. Can you go back to a monthly, uh, weekly or monthly? Uh, a potential move. Into if we're going to mess with China. That's, I think that could be part of it also. Yeah. I mean, that is a beautiful setup. Is that a semiconductor, Ivan? It's a semiconductor, but as I said, it's specifically related to, uh, to 5G. 
and uh, some of the other stocks uh, in the same theme. Uh, we have uh, 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 Cuervo. I see a weekly item. That's another beauty. Oh, it's looking similar. Uh, oh, Ivan, we're finding some beauties. Okay. Yeah. So here's the case where, Qualcomm. honestly, I'm going to be looking to sell. Yeah, there's Qualcomm. I'm going to be looking to sell some Google and other laggers, maybe McDonald's. Everybody who follows me in my portfolio, and just get long some semiconductors just for the, just for the, just for the beta. So QRVO, SWKS, Qualcomm's like a hundred year breakout if you look at the monthly. Yeah, which is also a major supplier for Apple, uh, and they they settled. So I'm thinking they're just gonna write on the look at that. The wink of uh, you fell asleep in 1999. You went into a coma. Yeah, and you wake up today, and you're not buying that breakout. Um, oh my I god! Think Qualcomm is gonna double in the next uh, three to five years. Uh, oh my goodness! They have a lot of um, strong catalysts behind them. It's a San Diego company, so hopefully it will help the city somehow. Yeah, I'll go visit them. Yeah. Only when I go visit a company. The other uh, San Diego company, one that I own, ILMN. Yeah, Illumina, yeah. Ah, almost. Uh, we talk about biotech because biotech uh, has had a pretty significant pullback in the past couple of weeks and it's kind of at a make or break point. But let, let's talk about it right now since you mentioned it. Take it away. Take it away, Ivan. So, I mean, the past couple is definitely notable on their performance. Look at their the declining relative strength line. I think, I mean, nothing major has happened yet. Those are, it could be just a normal pullback. Mm -hmm. The market, even on last week, we commented that with the uh, elections coming up, there will pro probably be a lot of political rhetoric regarding healthcare expenses and biotech. Mm -hmm. But I still think that those pullbacks here are probably buying opportunities. Uh, okay. Buy okay. Back. So. Well, I think you've nailed something there in the 5G. I, I, I'm going to share something later with uh, the semiconductor chat between Gavin Baker, uh, who ran a fidelity, large fidelity fund, and he's super bullish on AI and semiconductors. So I think that has to do with 5G, the ones you said. Yeah, 5G. I mean, that, that's why we also saw the the big breakout in um, AMD two weeks ago. And I mean, obviously Nvidia has been strong mm. uh, for a while. And uh, this is one of the major trends. Yeah, I missed, uh, semiconductors are just foreign to me. You know, you got the tariffs, you got the China problem, Taiwan. I just kind of, I, I guess it's a wall of worry that I just, uh, I don't know the industry very well, but yeah. SMH, I guess you just trade against the SMH, yeah. and then Intel must be holding. Uh, Taiwanese, uh, even, even with company. Intel holding that back, I mean, if Intel wasn't in this index, I mean, it'd be ten percent higher. It's just incredible. Yeah. And in the same time, uh, social media has been very strong. Uh, as I said, we mentioned the strong earnings. In Facebook, now Microsoft is rumored to be buying TikTok, which I would think that would be a positive move. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it's negative for, I, I'm not sure. It's probably negative for Snap and uh, Facebook, yeah. actually. It's positive for, um, for Microsoft, yeah. obviously. I mean, Pins is the one that uh, no one, it's just being left alone. And you know, I, can't, I couldn't ever get a straight answer from my wife or kids. And they screwed me. This, they use it. I know they use it. No one. It's kind of like manscaping. I think people don't say they use it, and uh, they use it every time I go to the site. I go. I don't know how to use it. Do you use it? Uh, yeah, I recently started to use it just because I was interested in the stock. And I mean, I can definitely see a bullish argument about it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's all about basically pictures. <laughs> With so it. It could be used. I think it has. It has secret. It's like pictures. I don't like to read, so maybe that's a secret thing. Exactly. I mean, that's why I think it's. I think it has potential. I don't think it's something that you can produce content on a daily basis as Facebook and Twitter, but definitely it's something where you can consume content on a daily basis. So um, definitely. Well, that's like TikTok too. Most people are consumers. Um, hmm. Ah, I'm bummed. 
Made you break out. Uh, a lot of my smart friends were buying that in the twenties, and I, I missed that one. And look at Twitter, how how brutal that one acts. Got it's so by the way, for Pinterest, uh, it doesn't. This could be just the beginning of Pinterest. I mean, it's not like billion. It's a big number. It's a big number for a product I don't use. But uh, again, there's a lot of great ideas. I think the five G is my favorite new idea. Uh, what else do you see out there? The, the health stocks, Teladoc and Lavago. I, I smacked myself in the forehead. Um, yeah, major trends. Uh, this this year. I remember talking about uh, Lavago when it was basically yeah. a $30 stock. And I remember in the 50s just looking at it and going, I don't know what it does. I kept looking at the website. It looks like 1970s website. Yeah, I checked their website and I was like, oh, this definitely looks like a company that would uh, benefit from a, from a COVID, uh, in a COVID world. Uh, yeah. This is a story stock, not so much as technology. And then... Uh, you know, it's so only trading at a, a thousand times earnings in this market. I know, yeah. it's crazy. And that's why when I highlighted the 30, some people said that they might be a fraud. And as I said, yeah. And you well, might if you look at the website, if you wanted to create a fraud, that's the website you would have. It's so funny. Exactly. I got to like, it. Can't. At the time, my argument was exactly the same that I said, you know, that might be true, but just because of the strong story, and you know, they can go to 100 in a year, and they definitely exceeded even that. Uh, Listen, God bless everybody who's, who's making money. Our job is just to point out ideas, and um, pretty big breakout in Bitcoin. Pretty yeah. big breakout in Bitcoin, finally. Oh, what yeah, I mean, the, the inflation team is just... Uh, one of my 8 to 80 brands is now playing catch-up. Yeah, I mean, gold's up 30%, but Bitcoin's up 20% this weekend. So... Uh, yeah. Like, it briefly uh, went above 12,000. Uh, so definitely a major breakout. Mm -hmm. This is for lazy people who uh, want to trade uh, an ETF. I guess it tracks it pretty closely now. Uh, but then you have the weekend gaps and stuff. I think it's kind of a, a stupid way to trade it. Um, you can do it on Robinhood and at least be able to buy and sell on weekend. Uh, what else, Ivan? Another kind of interesting trend. Just a few I'm months ago. Through my, I'm just looking, going to look through my portfolio. So biotech we covered. I think it's a semiconductor world. Obviously, the... The uh, what I was going to say, the um, the craziness. I, I just don't know what to make of it. Apple moving that that much. Uh, Palo Alto Networks, Ivan's one that I own, that's just closed at a weekly high. Um, can you pull that up on a weekly? Yeah, I mean, if that has. That looks primed. Again, I don't know when earnings are. I have a winter earnings. This has been such a lagger, but I mean, what a base. September. All right, so you have a free month here. If this, this is one that I'm long and I may add to it if it uh, has a good week. Um, what else was I looking at? Uh, Cloudflare, another new, oh, Stone. This is one that I've been mentioning. It's kind of like, Square of Latin America, kind of Mercado Libre dominates the conversation. This is another one that I was adding to last week, breaking out. Uh, yeah. Tags, I guess, is the ugly stepchild. Uh, let me see what else we've got. Uh, Zillow, which I'm long, broke out. Uh, what else? Spotify's consolidating. Um, to anything else that you're swinging, Ivan? I mean, there, there are plenty of setups. Uh, and earlier, when you interrupted me, I was going to talk about farms. <laughs> just a few ago, Sorry, what were you going to talk about? A few months ago, people were just basically saying that there will be a car or Magadon, that no one will, will be buying cars and uh, there will be a huge supply. And then at the same time, we had that huge boom in electric cars. Mm -hmm. um, Tesla and the Nicola and all the other uh, frauds. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have something like Carvana, which is up like 700% since the March. I think that, I think Carvana, 
here's the three stocks. If you had Carvana Overstock, OSTK, this has like been between one and a hundred, a thousand times in the last 20 years. Look at that. I mean, like, it's just some, he just keeps reinventing the, look at that. That's gone from two to 80 since March. Like, insane. Can you ever, look at that, it just went, uh, and then the other one is Wayfair. So just when you think you, you know what you're doing, I've missed three, like 50 baggers since. Oh my goodness. I mean, this market is defying 2020, Ivan, is making everybody silly. I don't know what's on the other side of this, but if a stock can go up like Wayfair just did, an overstock, like, oh my gosh, you've never seen that. Yeah, I mean, basically for what new all-time lows to- 160 you know, in 19 to 20 to 260. To no one knows what they're doing. <laughs> well, <laughs> selling furniture uh, online. No, but I mean, there, what? I don't know if that's because there is no Wall Street anymore uh, and everybody's left to themselves, but these are the kind of charts that just make me shake my head because, you know, there's just so much opportunity for individual investors uh, if they do some work and really understand the digital economy. It's fascinating, fascinating. Um, you know, stuff that we can't even, that I can't even cover. All right, what else is there, Ivan? And that's all we're, we're all right, we're all we're all coming up again, like about five, six hundred companies report. And um, I think something to pay attention to is kind of um, enterprise software because we, we saw a few kind of soft kind of soft reports and the market wasn't too enthusiastic about them. Huh. So it's something to be kind of paying it. I mean, they did, didn't yeah, sell. one of the strongest stocks. Okay, and them and Zendesk have kind of, so that's rotation, though, more than a real crash. Yeah, considering the evaluations, and this is something I'm paying attention to because uh -huh. definitely slow down in momentum. Mm -hmm. despite, I mean, Zen has see how this strong. tech rotation has gone from biotech and enterprise over to the five more semiconductors, yes, uh, in the semiconductors. Okay, all right. Well, what do you got planned this week? In terms of what? In terms of what's on your calendar? Just work and just basically the same thing, nothing new. Nothing new for the Ivanator. All right, so uh, everybody have a great week and uh, we will be back next week. I think uh, rotation continues to be the name of the game and we'll check in on those uh, 5G stocks next week. Thanks, Ivan. All right, Carl, bye.